Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dark Souls Free walkthrough. So, in the last episode, we explored the untended graves and were set on our path to our um, targeted ending. So, in this episode, we are going to get back to our Lothric Castle exploration because, of course, there is still much left to be done. Starting with this guy, another one of these red eyed knights. And this one even has a uh, helper who will heal him and also buff him. So that's lovely. So I recommend you kill him first. No. Oh. Hmm. Yay. Jesus. Good. Get over here. Chop, chop. There. God, that magic is really annoying. It like how it, it, it like reduces the damage, and I think buffs their damage and also heals them. It's pretty nasty. So yeah, try and take out the healer first before you fight this guy. Ooh. Doesn't help that I have not long woken up, so I'm playing a little bit sloppily. But excuses. Here we go, Dianite chunk and over here. Soul of a crest for a night. Hmm. Is this sword anything special? I'm not sure. Doesn't look special, but I will, I'm not too sure. Anyway, contraption does not move. Well, can't use that. Mm. Also, all these, um, all these guys. Who knows? Anyway, up here, there's another one of these guys. So be sure to kill him. There we go. Alright man, bring it. Oh god. Oh god. Helps the dodge away from the attacks, not into them. What? Yeah. Hey. There we go. Easy. Oh, hello. Yeah. Come here, man. Oh, well, there's another one. Oh, brilliant. Well, that's just lovely. Are you serious? Ugh. Ow, God. Ow, stamina. Not playing very well this morning, but whatever. Chop, 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 chop. Jeez, die. There we go. See what I mean about these guys? They really make it much harder. So be sure to kill them first. Get all the Titanite. Give it all to me. Alright, what's in here? Many candles is the answer. And a bonfire. The biggest candle of them all. Swish. Quite a short distance for a bonfire, but whatever, I'll take it. And if you head over here, then this is a nice shortcut back to before, but don't need that because we are marching in this direction. Hmm, I heard a noise. Hmm, looks safe. I hear that noise. Anyway, get the, um, the robes of prayer. Not sure what those are all about, but they're there. Tie that junk. Oh god. Man, look at these skies. These sort of burning skies. They're pretty beautiful. Oh god. Get it in, get the deserter armor. There we go. And what the hell are those things? I don't know what those things are, but they're some sort of butterflies. You can't uh, attack them, I don't believe, but yeah. They will just be flying upwards. <laughs> They're weird. I have no idea what their deal is, but they do look pretty though. Oh god. Chop, 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 chop. Hiya. And look at this. The solar eclipse in the background, the burning skies and all these butterflies. Isn't it strange? 
Sorry if you can hear background noise, I've got the window open because it's hot as balls. Anyway, down here. More Titanite and more hollows. Oh, how I love them so much. Alright, let's head in here. You see him up there? Yes, that's the noise. Oh, here he comes. A winged knight. Still without his wings, thankfully. Oh. And this one, unlike the uh, previous one, actually wields a twin axis. So, yeah. Oh, God. And I believe he is faster. Oh, I can't see. So, yeah, I believe he is faster than the previous one because of these twin axes. But he's still not too bad. Oh, God. There we go. See? Easy. Easy as pie. Get a twinkling tie night. And let's head up here. What is up here? Bugger all is the answer. Well, back down we go. Okay, so, around here. I still hear it. Oh, God. I still hear a horrible noise. Oh, God. This is a Polon one. I mean, a Halberd one, so he's a bit stronger. Ow, oh, God. Where's the stairs? There's the stairs. Yeah, they, these guys are going to be throwing on to charms at you, so you want to be a bit careful. Ow, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm alive. How am I alive? But I'm not going to be for long, because I'm hunter charmed with no health. Yeah. Yeah. Chop, 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 chop. There we go. These guys lack poise. God, how am I alive? Any time now you want to wear off Hunt Chum? There you go. Whew. Yeah, don't get careless around these guys, because they're... Oh my god, really? But yeah, don't get careless around these guys, because they are kind of a piss stick. Chop, chop. And as it turns out, even if you just walk through the, um, the cloud of the Hunt Chum, it will still affect you. So, just stay away from those things. Hmm? Chop, 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 chop. Dead. And chop. Good. See? Not so hard. Get a large China shard. And some fire bombs. And what's over here? Large soul of a weary warrior. Lovely. Man, look at that. The butterflies, the solar eclipse. It's gorgeous. I really love the solar eclipse. It's really gorgeous vista. Two tiny night chunks. And this guy. Weakling. Good thing I'm getting those fire bombs because I needed those because I was all out. As it turns out, you actually use quite a few fire bombs in this game, which I actually quite like. Hmm, I hear something above me, but shouldn't be a problem. And over here, sweet blessed bonfire. Goody, goody gumdrops. Alright, what's this over here? An ember. Simple. Alright, so let's head over in this direction and up these steps. Yes, that thing is moving. So, that wyvern is alive. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem, because we need to get over there. We'll, t we'll talk about that in a second. First of all, we have this guy. Sneak up on him. Oh god. Well, he's got good hearing. That's cheating. Mm -hmm. Chop, chop, chop. Ouch. Ouch. God, I need to stop being so greedy. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. Easy. Large turn nice shard. And a great lance, which is a nice uh, lance weapon. I think lances are separate to spears, but I'm not sure. Let me just check that a second. Uh, it actually counts it as a pike, which is kind of weird. I didn't know they counted pikes and lances as uh, separate weapons. Well, there you go. All right, so let's go up and have a word with this wyvern. I 
I was safe there. Apparently not. So yes, there are two wyverns here now. So, how do you deal with two wyverns? Well, one way is to get out your bow and shoot them. But, um, I think it's possible to do it without doing that. But, um, I don't think it's recommended. But I'm going to try and see if I can do that. But if I don't think I can, then I will just bust out the old strategy. But one thing to note is that if you um, shoot and kill one of them with your bow, I believe the other will also uh, die. So, yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. But I'm going to try not to. Because I don't think you need to. So head down here off this bridge. Get a tiny chunk. And you can drop down over there as well. And there's something over there. But I cannot because too late. And I'm going to go over here. No, 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 no. No pusser man. No pusser man. Don't you be pulling that crap on me. Get twinkling tyanite, tyanite chunks. Man, the chunks are all over this place. No, 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 no. Don't you be pulling that crap. Speaking of that, I need to replace my uh, fire bombs, I mean, our uh, black fire bombs with regular. Because I don't really want to waste my black ones. Anyway, in there, get some lightning urns. Oh, hello, hello. Come here. Call me. Call me. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, it was a trap. 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 Ouch. Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 God, you guys need to calm down. Jesus. There. Jesus. Alright, back up here. I heard you. I heard you. Where are you? I hear you. There you are. Oh, there's two of you. There are three of you, actually. God, you guys. Come on, you guys. Would you stop that? There. Screw off and leave me alone. Now, uh, up here. Large soul of a nameless soldier. So you could go down there to the bonfire, but I'm not going to. Because there's more stuff this way. And by that I mean another one of these um, windy nights. So that's just marvelous. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, I hate that so much. I have no idea how to counter it. And someone's throwing Hunt's Charms, which is not nice. No, no, no. No! Oh. Heal up. God, I need to stop being so greedy. Anyway, there we go. Who is throwing those? Where are you? Oh, you, there. <laughs> Get out. Get out of here. And there we go. Get the sniper crossbow. A nice crossbow. Looks awesome. And down there is just the uh, path we came before. So let's head over in this direction because it's safer. Alright, so now time to uh, show what's over the other side of that bridge. So run over. Be careful because they are going to shoot you. Oh no. Well, that's not what I intended. But that's fine. Guess I'll just use the sword fragment. Alright, another attempt. Hopefully this time we get it. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. Mate. Uh, nothing in there. And uh, nothing over there. Try not to wake up the pus of men. There you go. Get an undead bone shard. Fantastic. And we can't get back over there now, so I guess I'm just going to sword fragment. No pusser man. Alright, now it's time to actually start moving forward. So, you can kill that guy if you want, but I don't recommend it. Just leave him, just leave him alone. Now up here, things get a bit tough. 
because there are hunter charms, there are ar there are archers, and there are more of these uh, pole arm guys. I mean halberd guys. There we go. Take him down. Get a raw gem and large shine and shot. Ouch! That was totally mistimed. Ow, oh my god. God, I hate. I hate. Come on, Hunter Charm. Wear off. Wear off, Hunter Charm. There we go. Good. God, those last so long. Chop, 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 chop. So long as you keep attacking, you can keep these guys are stun locked, but you need to keep attacking. Will you be quiet, Pusser Man? You're really loud. Chop, chop. Okay, so in there is the correct way to go, but I'm just going to show over here. Uh, over here is pointless at this stage, so I don't recommend you go over here at this stage. I will show you why that's there at a much later date, but for now, though, just ignore it. It's pointless. So head in here. No, no hunt charm. Kill him, get a large soul of a nameless soldier. And over here, some sweet loot, a raw gem. Useless. Now, time to head down here, and down here is going to be an old friend. An Irithyll Knight, or a Pontiff Knight, or whatever you call these guys. So of course, it's time to endure his pain again. Hopefully I don't die this time, because I'd rather not fight through those guys again. Ow, god. That's not a good start, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heal up. I think going two-handed is best against these guys, because they are pretty strong and pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chop, chop, chop. Ow, God. No, no, no. Come on, I just want to heal. I just want to heal. There we go. Huh? Come on. Yeah. Huh? That was poorly timed, but it worked. There we go. Oh, and get the Irithyll Rapier. Nice. Yeah, I'm not very good at fighting those guys, but they're, they're nowhere near as bad at this stage of the game because you've gone a lot stronger. So over here, get a Spirit Shui uh, Crest Shield. I'm not sure what that's, uh, what, how good that is. I assume it's like the Dragon Crest Shield and all that, just different resistances. The main difference between the Crest Shields is that they have a, uh, like different resistances. So one is if, so the Dragon Crest Shield is good against fire. The regular Crest Shield, I think, is good against magic. I think, and I don't know what the Spirit one is. Get a Titanite Scale. No mimics. Nope, no mimics. God, there's lots of chests down here. Twinkling Titanite. And over here, more Twinkling Titanite. Fantastic. A bountiful treasure trove. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing else down there. So, let's move our way forward. So, here's where things get tricky. We need to get over there to that stairway, but we have to get through this uh, bloody wyvern to do so. So how do you do that? Hell if I know. I think I've been able to pull it off once before, but I'm not... I can't quite remember. I think the best thing to do is to, like, wait. And wait for your opening and then just, like, run. Just book it to the other end. Like, don't make any stops, just book it. I'm pretty sure none of the ground is safe. So, I'm gonna try that, hopefully it works. Run, 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 Yeah. There we go, I made it. So there you go, just wait for him to, like, be idle and not shooting fire, and then just run, just run over here and you should be okay. Right. Oh god, but watch out in here, because there's fire bombs everywhere. Speaking of which, get some black fire bombs. God, there's fire bombs all over this place. I hate it. Mm. So you can go up that ladder, but I don't want to. I want to go over here first. Oh god! Oh my god! Yeah. 
God, they're so relentless with their attacks. Oh god, oh my god, those are explosive. I didn't know those were explosive. Well, there you go. The barrels are explosive, just like Dark Souls 2. God, these guys are everywhere. Chop, chop, chop. God, get the hell out. I don't appreciate you trying to burn me 24-7. Okay, with all that done, now we can actually move forward. So that way is the way forward, but I'm not going to go that way just yet, and I would highly recommend you don't. Uh, kill this guy first. No, 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 no. Don't you be waking no fools up. Anyway, over here, time at scale. I've got more of these guys. Alright, so with all that done, over here. There are a bunch of dudes around here, but they're all sleeping, so they're not too threatening. But anyway, this over here, you guessed it, Mimic. Oh, a Dark Souls 2 Mimic, nice. Oh, oh no, oh, oh, hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah, these ones can also jump, I forgot about that, so yes, you need to be prepared for that. And they also can turn. Oh god, and apparently they have a tongue melee attack, I didn't know that either. Well, there you go, I'm learning new stuff. <laughs> Get out of here, you crab-walking bastard. Oh, three Titanite Scales. Nice. Those are becoming a lot more common as we get through the game. And get some Pale Pine Resin. I don't know what that is, but it's something. Alright, now before we go in there, we need to head over here first. I highly, 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 highly recommend you come over here first. Because you see that over there, as part of the wyvern. Oh, broken straight sword, nice. Large soul of an aimless soldier. Oh, I heard you. Don't think you're getting the jump on me. Now, so you think, can I just melee attack the wyvern? Well, no, you can't, because you see that? It's the pus of man. Yes, even wyverns can be infected by it. Hit it a few times and the Puzzle Man will leak out. So the difference with this Puzzle Man is that this Puzzle Man cannot uh, move, so it's stuck to the spot, so you can just shoot it with, with arrows if you wish. Which is probably the easiest way to kill it, but it will also, um, it also has a ranged attack, as you can see there, which will do some nice damage. So the best way to kill it is probably to bait out a melee attack and then, um, or beta range the attack of some kind and then back off and be careful. But going in for melee attacks is not a good idea. It is still vulnerable to uh, fire though, so that strategy can still work. As demonstrated. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, ouch. But yes, don't get greedy. But yes, so it's still vulnerable to the old firebomb technique. go get two Tainite Chunks and two Embers and a large one. And as you see now, since we killed one, that will kill uh, the other Wyvern as well. But the Puzzle Man is still over there, as you can see from here. So yeah, you can still kill that. And only once you've killed the Puzzle Man can it will the Wyvern completely disappear. So I highly recommend you do that, because not only is it easy, but it also gives you some nice loot and a bunch of souls. Alright, out here. Another Tyanite Chunk, very lovely. Alright, and out here, Tyanite Scale, very nice. And now we can explore this place um, freely. Get a Refined Gem, get an Ember. And over here, get and get some Lightning Urns. And you see now we can't attack the Wyvern, but we can still attack the uh, Puzzle Man if we just get up there. And I forgot to open this gate while I was in there. Uh, so I'll have to go back around for that a second. So bear with me a second. Alright, so now in here. This lever is what you want. Pull this and it will open up the gate. 
and that will provide a nice handy dandy shortcut. And over here, a large soul of a weary warrior. Most lovely. So you can drop down off there if you want. It's not the safest, but it works. Now over here, there's another one of these guys, and this one wields a great sword. I mean, an ultra great sword. So he's a bit deadly. And also he can enchant it, because that's nice. Ouch! That was poorly timed. And there is another sorcerer around here who will buff him, so you might want to kill those first. Oh, there he is. Ugh, get out of here. There we go. No, camera, please, camera. Whoever the cameraman is for this game, he needs to get, like, a pay cut, because he's very bad at his job. Oh god, there's another one? Ugh. Yeah, there are more down below, so that just makes your job harder. Oh god, don't be overconfident. No. Chop, chop. No. Oh god, I hate those bloody mages. God, they make everything so much worse. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Leave me and Mr. Dude alone so we can have a proper duel. Not that I think he wants one. Ah. God, that blessing really lasts a long time. Oh no, there we go. I just ran out. The power of my voice. Alright, come here, man. Bring it on. Jump. There we go. Got him. Get a large shiny shard and 5,000 souls. Nice. Like I said, the regular enemies give way more souls in this game than any other game in the series. Ouch. Ow, God. Why must you be a dick? I'm going to use my special move. Wah. There you go. Did you see that? That was sick. Brothay sick. Alright, and over here around the left side. An ember. Don't miss it. Can never have too many. Alright, let's move forward up here. Uh, nothing over here. So let's head around here. And that over there is the boss room. So if you want to, you can take on the boss now. But I don't recommend it because there's quite a bit left to explore in this area. So I'm going to do that first. Over here, get a sunlight medal. And you know what that means. Can't open that door. So there are multiple ways to go here. You can take the elevator for one, which I think is the best way to go. So I'm going to take that. I think this might be a shortcut, and I certainly hope so. Indeed it is. It is indeed a lovely shortcut back down here. So there you go. If you wish to have a shortcut, then take the elevator first. And I will explore the rest of that up there. But first of all, there's something I remembered that I never actually finished. So I'm going to just head over to that, and then we will continue with the regular, with our regularly scheduled programming. Ah. Oh god. Where did you come from? So yeah, something I forgot to mention that I've only just now confirmed. I always knew this was a thing, but I never confirmed it. But yeah, if you um if you kill one of the wyverns in the deeper Lothric castle, then it will actually uh, get rid of this wyvern as well, back at the start. So yeah, if you don't wish to shoot this wyvern with your arrows, then this is how you uh, get rid of him. Killing even one of the wyverns in the castle will cause him to disappear. So there you go, so now we can explore up here. So get an ember, get a club. And over here, there's another item. Or well, two more items, actually. Large silver dessert corpse. And apparently my guy's never heard of reaching up a ledge before, so I have to run around. Over here, get a claymore. Lovely. We all remember the claymore, our trusty weapon from the first game. And here, open up this. Now, what's in here? What has been evading us all this time? Well, if we drop down, we'll know. Oh, didn't even need to drop down. There is a stairs. There is a stairs, yes. Oh, and a mimic. There you go. Choppy the mimic. And get a deep balax. So if you manage to get here earlier in the game, that's probably a pretty good weapon for you. But good luck getting past the wyvern. 
it is probably possible to get past the Wyvern, but yeah, it'll be difficult. But yeah, so if you can get past the Wyvern, that's a good weapon early on. But who needs that? I don't need none of those. So anyway, with that done, I think I'm actually going to wrap this episode up because I'm kind of running out of time for this episode. So yeah, sorry that we couldn't get to the boss in this episode, but next episode we definitely will. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.